Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I'm back to talk to you about the 2 gig SMKT8E-345, and it's learning into the 2 gig Edge system um, as a freeze detector this time. So, what we're going to do, um, as I said before uh, in my other videos, this is a three-loop device, meaning it can com it can perform three separate functions at the same time: smoke, heat, and freeze. So what we're going to do to get it programmed in for freeze is we're going to hit the gear in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to enter the installer code, which factory is 1561, as this is. Uh, we're going to hit the installer toolbox. Then we're going to go into panel programming. At that point, we are going to hit wireless zones. So you're going to choose whatever the first available wireless zone that you have. So in this case, uh, mine is a fresh panel. I'm going to use zone one. Um, you may have to start at 10 or wherever, wherever it may be for you. So we're going to go ahead and start with the equipment code first. For the equipment code, we are going to be going with the E-Series Smoke Detector USA. That lets it know that it is in fact the, uh, the, the smoke, the E-Series smoke that we're going to be programming in. Uh, and once again, that code is 2058. You just choose that by selecting the hamburger icon on the right hand side. Press the down arrow. It's going to ask you for the sensor type. At this point, you are going to choose a 24-hour auxiliary alarm, which means that it is going to be monitoring 24 hours a day for this. Um, and uh, once you have that set, you will go ahead and press the down arrow. By the way, 24 auxiliary uh, is 08, just so we're, we're clear on that one. Um, so now we're going to go down to where it says TX. Actually, it's going to ask you after you if you've entered that what you're programming in here. Just go ahead and choose freeze detection. I apologize, uh, it auto-populates that after you choose it. So press the down arrow after you've chosen the, the freeze option. And then it's gonna ask you for TXID. At this point, it's gonna learn it. So you wanna hit the learn button in the bottom right of the keypad, and then just twist the back plate off of the device itself. You'll see that it has learned in now. So go ahead and accept it. And then press the down arrow. This is the freeze detector. So the freeze detector is actually gonna be programmed to loop number three. So we are gonna put it on three and then hit the down arrow. So uh, then you're, it's gonna be the voice descriptor at this point. So you wanna go ahead and put something in to let the system know what it is. I'm just gonna call this living room freeze. All right, so now it says living room freeze in there. It's gonna ask for sensor chime after you've pressed the down arrow. You don't need to put a chime on this, doesn't really need it. Hit the down arrow again, it's gonna ask for the smart areas assignment, S1, I'm just gonna leave it there. If you are doing smart area assignments, um, you can program it elsewhere. Transmission delay. This is where it's gonna program an additional delay on this device before it actually transmits a signal to the central station. So what you want to do in this case, for me at least, I'm going to disable that because I want it to immediately go if something happens. Hit the down arrow. Sensor reports, you want to keep that enabled so that way it reports whenever there's something going on. Sensor supervised, you also want this to be supervised so that way it checks in with the panel and the panel will tell you if there's ever an issue with the sensor. At this point, it is learned in. This thing is ready to rock for freeze detection. Hit the back arrow until you're all the way out of programming. At this point, you're ready to get it mounted and set up. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Take care. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.